The ratio of boys to girls in a class is 3 to 7. If there are 12 boys total in class, how many girls would there be? So we can set this up, and now that we have a visual representation, I'm going to show side by side how a visual representation using arrays or area models might be a good option in order for students to get a better understanding of how a proportion works algebraically. So if we set these up here, we can see that uh, our ratio of 3 to 7 is represented as factors of two separate area models. And we know that if there's 12 boys total, that's how many, um, that, that's what our product will be for that first area model. So ultimately what we're looking to find is the factors or the missing factors, which will be constant since we're dealing with a proportional relationship. So if I determine what, th what times 3 equals 12, that I then can figure out what times 7, uh, or that same factor times 7, in order to determine the number of girls. So in this case, if we think backwards and we take 12 and we divide into three groups, we end up with 4, and thus we're going to take 7 times 4 as well to determine our total of 28 girls in the group.